hello y'all welcome back to my channel i'm just gonna get right into this video so i know a lot of y'all probably saw the clips of kanye trending yesterday from his rally in south carolina and this whole thing just isn't sitting well with me at all um i'm gonna just go ahead and play some of those clips and then we're gonna get into some things i just haven't had the time to word it in the most elegant way possible so so that's a steven move but Harriet Tubman, well, Harriet Tubman never actually freed the slaves. She just had the slaves go work for all the white people. Y'all, we leaving right now. She said she was pregnant, and for one month, and two months, and three months, we talked about her not having this child. She had the pills in her hand. Do people know these pills where you take the pills? And if you take it, it's a wrap. The baby's gone. So I was sitting up in Paris. And I have my leather pants on. <laughs> you already know, if you got leather pants on, you already know who this person must think they are. Right? And I'm in the apartment where my wife was actually robbed. And I have my laptop up, and I got all of my creative ideas. I got my shoes, I got my sound cover, I got communities, I got clothes, I got all this. And the screen was black and white. And God said, if you fuck with my vision, I'm gonna fuck with yours. <laughs> and I called my wife. And she said, we're gonna have this baby. My mom saved my life. My dad wanted to abort me. My mom saved my life. There would have been no Kanye West because my dad was too busy. y'all i am not an expert in mental health and i'm not going to pretend to be all i can say is that from those clips is that this man needs help Ye doesn't seem to have any mental stability and for a while now the black community and just everyone around the world has witnessed his mental degradation and it seems that the death of his mother coupled with his familial climate and just this presidential campaign is not helping him. Now, the purpose of this rally to begin with was so that he could raise 10,000 votes, which he desperately needed to write him in on the ballot in South Carolina. Now, these clips instantly went viral and a lot of normal folk and celebs alike weren't feeling his comments about Harriet Tubman. So celebrities like T.I. spoke against him and in this post you can see that T.I. said, Now nah, we can't let you do that, yay. What we not gonna do is slander nor disrespect the legacy of our heroic Queen Harriet Tubman by telling falsities in an attempt to discredit the contribution she made to liberate our people. And no, there were not any commas, y'all. <laughs> Cause you bugging. This is absolutely too far. I truly hope you either have a logical explanation for all this dot 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 or get the medical attention you so desperately need bro i say this with love and sincerity hmm now i'm not a fan of ti but for once he did good and spoke out against the slander that kanye attempted to throw on harriet tubman's legacy and 50 said quote what the f did he just say this is all jay-z's fault kanye's first rally lol Miss Tina also posted this picture of Harriet Tubman without a caption, which is clearly a subtle response to Kanye's failed attempt to discredit Harriet Tubman. And speaking on failed attempts, Kanye did not submit the 10,000 signatures that he needed to enter the South Carolina ballot. And as commission spokesperson Chris Whitmire told Fox News, Neither West nor any representative had shown up to deliver the petition to the South Carolina Election Commission. So he then jumped from abolitionist Harriet Tubman to why he is pro-life 
by detailing private facts regarding how he wanted to abort Northwest, but Kim wanted to keep the baby the same way his father wanted to abort him. And he got really emotional as y'all saw. Naturally, I would imagine that Kim does not appreciate Kanye going out and spilling the personal details of their marriage on his quote unquote campaign. And as if that couldn't get worse, he took to Twitter today and he left us all upside down. I'm still upside down. I, I don't know what happened. I took to Twitter to see if they were still dragging Jeffree Star, but I was surprised, well not really, to see Kanye West was trending worldwide on at least three different tags and one of them was because his name was spelled incorrectly, all because he was out here spilling his own tea. He was tweeting out aimlessly from comparing how media treats black celebs by tweeting Google searches of Halle Berry versus Jennifer Lawrence and placing an emphasis on how on Halle Berry's Google search it was filled with scandal while on Jennifer Lawrence's Google search it just showed her net worth. And from there he began to tweet more sporadically saying quote everybody knows the movie Get Out is about me and then alleging Chris don't play with me. You and that call me a are not allowed around my children. Y'all tried to lock me up. We were out here trying to decipher these tweets like, who's call me? Is that Kim? These tweets had us so perplexed and they only got more cryptic. Tweets only got crazier. He says next, I put my life on my God that North's mom would never photograph her doing Playboy and that's on God. I am at the ranch. Come get me. And at this point, he's just off a tangent from name dropping Drake, dragging Pusha T into this. He then jumped into calling out Anna Winter and Shay for his Gap X Yeezy and then demanding that Chris call him. And the whole time, I'm just like, this can't be for marketing, can it? Like, it would actually take a mentally ill person still to drag their family through this to market their products. Before the rooster could crow, he posts righteous indignation, which is a complicated way of saying like the sense of injustice that someone can feel. And then he says, I'm gonna focus on the music now and then post his album and album release date. So as of now, we haven't heard any comments from Kim K West or any other member of the Kardashian clan. And I'm not sure we will, at least not for now. But as far as this being a PR stunt for Ye's Yeezy brand, I still don't think it changes the fact that you have to be seriously mentally compromised to even consider doing such a thing. Hopefully Kanye will acknowledge that he's not stable and peacefully remove himself from the 2020 ballot or his father Ray can possibly step in and push him towards medical attention. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below. I'm going to keep you updated as this story progresses. I hope this video finds you in peace and leaves you enlightened. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. You hear about slavery for 400 years? For 400 years? That sounds like a choice. <laughs> like, you was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all? You know, like, it's like we're, we're mentally in prison. I like the word prison because slavery goes di too, too direct to the uh, idea of blacks. It's like slavery, Holocaust, Holocaust Jews, uh, slavery is blacks. Ooh, it's got hot. I gotta get out of here. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I, yeah. Mm.